What's up, Daniels? Hope everybody's having a Merry Christmas. We're gonna do a little unboxing today. We got a few goodies in the mail. Can't wait to get them open. Let's start it off right away with that six cents premium sack. I think this is like the maybe the fourth month gotten one of these so far. Been loving it, dude. Awesome baits. You always know you're gonna get some good stuff, good paint jobs, nothing, nothing like, you know, it looks like it was on the dollar dollar shelf at Walmart or anything like that. It's always good stuff. Looky there. Awesome. That gray and blue bone sack. I like how they put them in the sack. That's, that's pretty cool. Thing. I like to reuse these for, uh, kayak river trips and stuff like that you can put your you know your toiletries and stuff in here anything you know just keep your stuff organized after the fact you know let's see this thing feels full to the brim let's see what we got here oh yeah we got some uh some divine swim baits i just bought some of these actually but these would be good on the old a rig real shad looking color what color are they calling this? This is a live minnow, 3.2 inch live minnow. These are, these are pretty cool, man. Pretty sick. Let's see here. Let's get one out of there. It's got some uh, some black flake, some silver flake, and some purple. Look at that, it just looks, looks good, it's pretty, tough plastic too like you know what i noticed um in my last video where um what i noticed in one of my previous videos fishing the a rig is the um i had some kai on there and some other uh some big bite bait swim swim baits and um the plastic's real soft and so every time the the hook you bring it back in and the and the swim bait would be hooked by the hook up here or something crazy like that. You're not going to catch a fish like that. Looking all stupid. So let's uh, put that back in there. Some of the divine swim baits. What else we got? We got some, uh, some prawn 4.2. Green pumpkin juice. Thank you. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty good. They got smell? Hmm. Just your normal plastic smell. From what I hear, they changed their plastic, um, their plastic blend. And uh, it's supposed to be even more durable than it already was. But look at that guy. Pretty good. These will come in handy in the uh, upcoming spawn. Been seeing some posts about people talking about, you know, start looking now, at least down here in Texas, for. The big bass going into uh, into the spawn. We'll see what else we got. I feel some more, some other kind of plastic here. Okay, we got some some clouts, 5.4, and that green pumpkin. Get one of those out of the bag. And see what we got. This is a straight. Straight worm, some nice uh, ridges on it. Probably good for, uh, you know, you can nip this off to be short, do a little Ned rig or something, or on a, um, I bet you could even rig this wacky, kind of like a Cinco. Just drag it across the bottom, maybe even a, um, Shaky head, just an all around good worm, looks like. And a great color, great natural color. 
Heck yeah. What else? What else? What do we got here? We got the curve for Ness Square Bill in Rambo Red. Rambo Red. It's a pretty good looking color. They got some pretty good craw colors, I must say. All their colors are pretty good no matter what, but a little finesse square bill. Nice rattle to it. Let's get that black. It goes to that red with the white bands. Pretty good looking crawl. Here we got a Hyper Jerk 70. Hyper Jerk 70. I don't have one of these. And this is in um, Royal Chrome. Royal Chrome. This one had like lavender purple. Chrome color, man. Get that sick feather and tail. Loud knocker in it. That looks like it'd probably be money right now. All them fish looking after the, trying to stock up for the, bulk up for the winter. Get them back in there. Tell you what though, I mean, if you're looking for something to get a loved one or something or a fellow fisherman, a gift for, Christmas, man, you can't beat going and, and getting them a, it, whether it's a three month subscription or one month, you can do a by month, by year subscription to this, this premium sack, but it is a good, good sack. Let's see, Quake 70. Quake 70 in Wild Lava Craw. Got a few of these quakes, different colors. But I don't think I have a craw pattern. I don't think I got a craw pattern yet, but now I do. A lot of rattle going on in this guy. You could use that as a maraca in your band, bro. If you're into that kind of thing. Last but not least, we got a Crush 100S Silent in Bluegill Fire. Bluegill Fire. I don't have this color and I don't think I have a Silent crankbait, at least from Six Cents. So, this will be. Uh, Probably good in that clear water. We don't need to call the fish. They can see that thing coming from a mile away, but that's a pretty sick color, man. Look at this. Pretty sick color right there. Completely silent. But yeah. Good stuff in the sack this month. Can't wait to get out there and try some of it out. Been having some weird weather around here lately in Texas, man. It's one day it's 80 degrees, the next day it's 40 degrees, so. All right. We also got a box from the old tackle warehouse. Let's bust that bad boy open to see what we got in there. Return shipping label. I don't think we'll be returning anything. We got the usual.
Stigger, Tackle Warehouse, Stigger. I bought some eyes because uh, the bait that, um, that I'm that mostly, what I got in this box, I keep losing the eyes, but I found a little trick using a little super glue, but I got a few that I got to replace. So I bought some eyes, hopefully they'll, they'll be the right size. They look, look like they might work, let's see. But this box right here is all dark sleepers. That buddy of mine showed me these uh, the other day out here fishing this clear clear water reservoir that we fish it's super deep and um, from from what I gather there's not a lot of bait fish so the fish are the bass are mostly munching on bluegill and um, these seem to be the ticket couldn't find any in this size I got a whole bunch of these the one ounces one ounce dark sleepers and uh, what do they call in this color? It, it looks straight up like a bluegill, but they call it something weird. Um, haze. And the haze color. One ounce haze. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna see how they do. The, the trick I, uh, I ran across, ran across a video on YouTube is you, so you don't lose the eyes and the front of the bait uh, stays nice and intact. Is you super glue basically all around the head that way because this 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 swim yes it's a swim bait but it's it's designed to be fished on the bottom like a jig because you got this one ounce weight in the head here so the fish swim the bait swims down and then you pop it up off the bottom swims down and um, what I was having problems with is the eyes popping off and um, I imagine over time uh, of using the same swim bait that the the belly right here is gonna get pretty chewed up. So the video I watched is super glue around this head here so that a the eyes stay in and b as it's bouncing around off the bottom, it's um it's not getting all beat up. Yeah, super glue is pretty strong. But yeah, these things are the bees and these got a pretty good size hook in there that it's not gonna bend down. And yeah, so far I've caught a couple fish off of these. Not this size, this is the uh, what, three point, 3.8 inch, I think. Yeah, 3.8 inch, one ounce dark sleeper in the haze color. Can't wait to get out there on the water and try that bad boy out. And I got multiple, so in different colors and stuff. So we'll get those out and see what's what. Also got them in the, the three quarter ounce, three inch size. Same color, haze, bluegill. What else we got? This box is all dark sleepers. So we got two of those three quarter, two of those three quarter ounce. I'm sorry, three of the three quarter ounce. The three of the 3.8 inch, one ounce. This is for that deeper water, feel the bottom better, that kind of stuff. So that's what we got from Tackle Warehouse. Got some more stuff coming in from Tackle Warehouse, but um, one of the items is on back order, so waiting on that to come in. What else? We made a run to good old Academy the other day, and we got some few things that we needed and a few things that just had to have so let's see one thing was some uh, some of those flush five uh, what are they five five point two jerk baits kind of like a fluke but you got some fins and dorsal fin and stuff so a little more detail I'll give those a try we um what else we get we got a one of these here uh, 13 fishing jabber jaws i already had it out of the box looking at it got the jabber jaw and uh, if you're not familiar with what that is it's a it's a crankbait 
but it's like a crankbait mixed with a chatterbait, a vibrating jig. So you got this metal blade and it has metal cheeks inside that, that the metal blade clacks against as it's going through the water. It gives it a nice vibration and thud. It's a little different, looks like a, and I, I have one of these in craw, a craw color, but I wanted to get a shad color just to cover the bases. Then we picked up a um, Curve 55 in boiled shad or boiled crawfish. We got that Curve 55 in boiled crawfish. That is a sick, sick color. Let's get that out of there. Awesome, awesome crankbait right here. I love this crankbait. I also got Cloud C10 and the same, no, this is Wild Lava Craw. You know, dives eight to twelve feet. Needs something to look dive a little deep, bouncing off the rocks. Kind of that mid depth there. Got that bad boy. Another awesome color. Should be able to hear that one from a mile away. Those hooks are sticky. They got some sticky hooks. I don't know who they use for their hook, and they don't say they just say black nickel, but you gotta be careful. Them things will get you. They will get you. What else we get? We got some uh, some divine swim baits. We got the um, size of these 3.2 and Pro Blue. 3.2 chrome ice minnow and some slightly larger ones 3.8 and ghost ice minnow both are ghost ice minnow sorry i got these and i guess along with the ones that came in the the premium sack these would go good with the other thing we got here since we lost the umbrella rig the a rig the other day after catching that huge catfish had to get another one so We'll set that bad boy up with some of these six six cent swim baits and get it rocking. Of course, got some uh, Strike King heads, jig heads for that. Um, just one eight size. May get some with I don't know slightly bigger hooks, but uh, we'll see. Kind of kind of a small hook, but might be better that way. Then uh, we got stocked up on some awesome, some stout six cents hooks right here. I believe these are all three aught five packs. It's my go-to for fluke fishing, for worm fishing. I got some four aughts, but I, I ran out of the three aughts, so stocked up on those. Looks like it. So yeah, we got a. Few trips planned out here coming up. We're gonna go to uh, gonna make a trip to Florida here uh, during Christmas. Got some family down there. We're gonna go spend some time with them. Hit up some uh, ponds and stuff. I guess I'm not taking a kayak with me, so just do some pond hopping. See if we can't get on some down there. Um, then after that, um, you know, back to the grind, trying to get some some fish to the boat. Get some videos pumped out. And, um, yeah, so I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a good New Year, and uh, we'll see you out on the water in the next one.